Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first Marvel Strike Force Awards. You know me as Cerebro, your community manager, and tonight, also, your master of ceremonies. The Marvel Strike Force team recently sent out a survey asking for all of you to vote on tonight's categories that you are going to see. So a big thank you goes out to everybody that participated and voted in choosing tonight's winners. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't do this in front of a live audience due to the current state of things and congregating together in large groups indoors is not really prudent. But unfortunately, I don't think Magneto got the text because just look at this footage that shows a flippant disregard for human decency. Yes, I believe the mandate out there is supposed to be six feet, not six inches there, Magneto. And that also means I haven't been able to go to the barber shop in over two months. The last time that my hair was this long, Hydra was being referred to as that hot new startup with a go-getter CEO and a bright future ahead of him. But don't worry, folks, we have a great show tonight. We have a lot of guest presenters that will be calling in remotely, and I'm certain we will have zero technical issues. If we do, I'll end the show early and go start drafting up a letter for future compensation. But in all seriousness, guys, Marvel Strike Force just celebrated its second anniversary, and we have more active players right now than we have ever before. We're here tonight because of your support and the studio really just could not be more grateful for an amazing community of players and fans. Let's get to what we all came here for, the winners, chosen by you. Hi, my name is Min Thantet, Senior Product Manager and Live Operations Lead on Marvel Strike Force. The game has seen a lot of changes in the past two years, and those of you who have been playing in that time have seen many of our characters change and evolve. So here are the nominations for the most improved character that launched with the game in March 2018. Scientist Supreme. Groot. Thor. And Shield Medic. And the winner with 41% of all votes is the God of Thunder, Thor. The word rework tends to spark a lot of excitement in the community, as it means that a feature or character existing already is being updated and improved. Now, if only I could find a way to rework my bike into Ghost Rider's Hell Cycle. Hi, I'm Zach Reynolds, lead game designer. Making changes to a single character is something that's done with great care, but reworking an entire faction takes the combined efforts of many talented game designers. Here are the nominees for the favorite faction rework. Game. Defenders. Hydra. Kree. and shield. And the winner, with 25% of the popular vote, is Anne. What makes a hero or villain legendary? Well, a certain level of fame or infamy is certainly a great place to start, but it also requires a unique set of skills and abilities that make them particularly powerful. And of course, having some facial hair certainly can't hurt your chances. Hi, I'm Matt Sheets, game designer. When we take a character and attach it to the legendary status, we know that we need to hit the high bar the Marvel fans have come to expect and appreciate. Here are the nominees for your favorite legendary character, Black Bolt. Invisible Woman. Iron Man. Magneto, McFury, Phoenix, Shuri, Star-Lord. And the winner, with 39% of the popular vote, is... Fun fact! There have already been over 100,000 alliance wars initiated, and in those, over 200 million battles have been fought. 
And through that multitude of melee mayhem, there's sure to be some standout characters. Hi, I'm John Durr, game director on Marvel Strike Force. Alliance War is a mode that the dev team is particularly proud of, and we're thrilled that so many players are having fun playing with their alliances and strategizing for victories. Here are the nominees for Alliance War's most valuable player, Agent Coulson. Graviton. Hella. Mr. Sinister. And Red Skull. And the winner, with 47% of the popular vote, is Hella. I don't know who's contracted to be making all of those helicarrier repairs, but whoever they are must be making fat stacks the size of Blob. And speaking of stalwart characters, where would we be without those reliable meat shields? Those bulwarks of steadfast durability? Let's give them the credit that they're due in this next category. Hi, I'm Austin Murray on Technical Designer on Marvel Strike Force. Protectors are essential characters to just about every team composition out there, affording their teammates the survivability and time needed to make full use of their abilities. Featuring characters that taunt to defend their allies, here are the nominees for the favorite Stonewall characters. Colossus, Drax, Juggernaut, Shield Security, and Sith. And the winner, with 31% of the popular vote, Juggernaut. Marvel Strike Force just would not be possible without the work of some amazing partners that we have over at Marvel. With their guidance, they've given us the flexibility to create a truly unique experience for Marvel fans and gamers. Please welcome one of those wonderful representatives that makes Marvel Strike Force happen. Hi, True Believers. I'm Michael Francisco, producer from Marvel Games, and I work closely with the folks at Fox Next Games to help bring to life some of the characters and storylines that you know and love straight from the comics. Many characters from the Marvel Universe are very powerful in their own right, but they can unleash their full potential when their best buddy has their back. Here are the nominees for your favorite dynamic duo. First, we've got Colossus and Wolverine. Second, we've got Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Third, we've got Iron Man and War Machine. And finally, we've got Toad and Blob. And the winner, with 59% of the popular vote, is Rocket Raccoon and Groot. No doubt, many of those famous duos have shown up in Arena, of which there have been so far over 500 million Arena battles. But perhaps we've seen even more players in our next category show up in Arena with a powerful freshman debut. Hi, I'm Alice Pearson, Community Specialist. There's always a lot of excitement around new characters being added into Marvel Strike Force, as each one has the potential to add new synergies and tactics. For characters released after February 2019, here are the nominees for Rookie of the Year. America Chavez, Falcon, Minerva, Mr. Sinister, Yo-Yo. And the winner with a whopping 61% of the popular vote is Minerva. We've got a couple of more awards to get to tonight, but first we got a special treat for you. The team would like to give you a preview of some new characters coming to the game that are going to unify one of our factions.
That's right, the X-Force will be assembling soon. And speaking of which, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who is of course one of the members of the faction, will be having her own milestone event that will bring us all together. And speaking of milestone events, let's kick it on over to our next category. Hi, I'm Brandon West, Live Operations Manager. As one of the team members responsible for creating events, milestones are one of my favorite types of events to design and I love reading feedback from players. Here are the nominees for favorite milestone event. Captain Marvel. Ghost Rider. Orb Avalanche. Second Strike. Spider-Man Symbiote. And the winner with 30% of the popular vote is... Captain Marvel. Here's another fun fact for you. There have been over 128 million character shards claimed of Captain Marvel. Just yet another amazing feat of Carol Danvers being everywhere she's needed in Marvel Strike Force. And here we are, you've made it. We are at the last category, and I believe it is a rather appropriate way to top off the show. Hi, I'm Amir Jami, executive producer for Marvel Strike Force. Releasing the game in March of 2018 and seeing the progress that we've made in those two years has been thrilling. And we couldn't have done it without you or our community of players. Uh, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. With that, I'm pleased to announce the nominees for our Lifetime Achievement Award for characters that have been with us from the very beginning and are still out there fighting today. The nominees are Captain America, Black Widow, Spider-Man, Yondu, and Quake. And the winner is... Hmm? Spider-Man. Good old Peter Parker having our commanders back from day one. So that's it, that's our show, but that's not the end of the celebration. Over the coming days, you're going to see a number of in-game activities that are related to the winners in tonight's show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future videos about Marvel Strike Force.